many of you seem to like my um, summer skincare video I did last summer, I thought it was about time I did a winter one. I don't know about you, but I always find my skin kind of harder to keep in check at this time of year. I find that I sort of need to give my skin a bit of an extra, a bit of extra TLC in the winter to keep it looking alive, really. <laughs> So I start with Lizelle Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth Cleanser. I've been using this, cle this cleanser for years. It's my go-to winter cleanser, really. It's got tons of cocoa butter in it, lots of botanicals like eucalyptus and rosemary. Because you use the cloth to take it off, it kind of, you, you ex you're exfoliating without any harsh granules. And I always feel like you end up looking um, a lot more awake than you did before. Like it really gives you rosy cheeks, which I really like. And if I have time in the morning, I really like to be like using a mask if I can, just to kind of really clear out my pores. The Lizelle Brightening Treatment Mask is great actually, because you're only supposed to leave it on for two minutes. So it's super quick. It's got lots of kind of clays in it. I find the, the payoff at this time of year of using lots of um, oils and really great moisturizers to keep my skin hydrated is that I can end up with more clogged pores and blemishes. So using a, mask, like a quick mask like this occasionally just helps keep them keep my skin clearer. So yeah, whack that on, let it work its magic. I'm really into multi-masking as well, so if I, had, if I was doing this in the evening or something, I might sort of put this on on my T-zone or something and then have a different, like a more nourishing mask on my forehead and my cheeks or something like that. So yeah, sort of mix and match to suit what my skin needs. And then once that's done, it's time for a serum. I'm massively into vitamin C serums. Um, it's like kind of my first boost towards um, anti-aging, like the first thing, the first step that I'm taking towards anti-aging. I love the SkinCeuticals one, but um, I'm really into the Elixir Skin Vitamin C Mask at the moment. It's again, super quick. It's not really a mask, but you kind of put it on and rinse it straight off. Um, the only downside is it really smells bad, so I will say that, but it's really, really good. And then I do a quick swipe over my face with the Glossier Solution. Yeah, I'm just kind of getting stuck into this acidic solution that Glossier have brought out. It sort of promises to essentially almost resurface your skin, slowly but surely, and keep it really clear and glowy. And then, because it's winter and I am pasty, I do occasionally like adding a few self-tan drops to my normal moisturizer. So I'm using the Tan Luxe Sun Drops, and I, I mix kind of two drops into my Aven Skin Recovery Cream and sort of just massage it in all over my face and neck. Just make sure you wash your hands afterwards. I'm so bad at that and then I end up with orange knuckles. Ooh, not cool. Bit of eye cream at this time of year I find it's kind of essential because I just have really bad bags to be honest when I'm tired and again just that extra step just to keep, try and look more awake and fresh. A little bit of lip balm because I'm like my lips, my hands, everything is so dry at the moment. This Lizelle Super Skin Hand Serum has been a real lifesaver for me. I, if, if you look closely in lots of pictures of mine, I will always have horrible chapped thumbs. Yeah, it's like a bit of a curse that I've had for years. So yeah, this is really helping. So yeah, that is me, barefaced, ready to go, feeling a little bit more alive and kicking than I was when I started the day. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I promise it's not gonna be nearly as long till the next video. Um, so thanks again, and see you soon.